there's some players out there that are flat out just different. The way they move, their confidence. And what's crazy is some of these guys aren't even in the league. Yeah. J. Lou is one of those guys where he does something, man, it'll just blow you away. I'm serious when I say this. He forced my hand. I couldn't help but become a fan. And P Man, where do I even start? The improv play style is better known as art. If you do your research, the story will unfold. A talent, a journeyman, a ghost. Behold, P. Sean Howard, whose story just begun. And J. Luke, a guy like hands, but. It's the end of the week, and we've been in here working like crazy. Everybody's beat up, but Jay Lou's in town for a 10-hour layover right before he embarks on a long journey. I wanted his biggest fan, so he's literally always welcome here. I'm so proud of this dude. I, I can't say enough about him, and I've been a fan. He's going to China. So I can't wait to see him uh, out there doing work. Are you going to do the hunt? Uh, go to a hundred? Yeah, you want to play somebody to a hundred? So bro, I've been training my butt off to prepare for that, bro. Cause that's just OD. That's actually a whole basketball game. But you feel me? I'm ready, bro. So uh, we we gonna we always welcome here. We are gonna work out, hoop a little bit, and uh, send him on his way, man. I'm, I'm praying and hoping for the best for this guy. All right. So first thing, we're gonna, whatever you want, get up here. Into the shot. All right, we're right hand only. Get downhill, downhill. Walk me straight down, yep. Whatever you want. All right, let's make five, yep. This workout is time. Because as talented as these guys are, I don't think they know how to win. I've seen J. Lou and P. Lou's games way too much that they should be winning. I don't think it's a mystery that J. Lou's jumper can be a little inconsistent. That fix is simple. P. it's more of the mental for him but a lot of the times he takes his foot off the gas. So this is only one day, but by making them compete at everything, it'll eventually build a winning mentality. I think some of the greatest winners dealt with the toughest losses. Unfortunately, and fortunately, today, there could only be one winner. All right, we're going uh, three dribble to start off with, and then you two are gonna go. I really want you guys to focus on just like really killing each other. Like, try not to make the other person score. So, like, think of almost like a conditioner, right? Because I'm going to make you uncomfortable, and I'm going to stop you, and then I'm going to get a bucket. Seven in a row if I can. We're going to seven. All right? You guys got it? All right, cool.
sentiment, right? It's you versus the other person, and it's a lot of mental. Who gets off to the best start normally, like a lot of times wins the game. But one thing I don't like that, that people do is exert a lot of energy, like over you hype themselves or get crazy off of one play, having to pick yourself off the ground from falling when you don't have to. All that stuff burns energy. So everything matters. Especially you guys go up to 30, we go up to whatever, we go everything fucking matters when you when you're in a one-on-one. And make sure as you walk into the top, you control, you breathing, you're always in control when you walk into the top, ready to check the ball back up, all right? You don't want to be overly hyped and you psych yourself out and you lose the game because you're tired. All right, let's go. Seven. What do you think about the first game? Um, nah, both guys, both guys, uh, he just got off a plane and he just been playing all day. Like we've been playing for like four or five hours. So, you know, I, I want him to, to be at this point when it's time to win. No, I don't, I don't care where you are mentally. Can you just turn on the Jets, right? That, that's what I wanted to see if both of these guys can do. Because at the end of the day, like I always say, I, I root for both of them. And, and they're both in really interesting spots. And J. Lou, I really believe, is about to just take off beyond belief. So, and he's kind of following it in, um, in like a little footsteps that I was in. You know, seeing him go to China, do a bunch of cool stuff. So, um, much more shifty than I've ever been. And he just got to find these little jumpers. So, it'll be alright. Another part of one-on-one -on -one guys is figuring shit out on the fly. Because early on, I mean, this isn't too far away for you to figure anything out, and the same thing for you. So he's figuring shit out on the fly. It's seven buckets. What can you do at this point? All right, let's go.
No, no, no. no, no, no. You're getting everything you want. Sometimes you're doing the same thing. You're making him think about that last shot, that last shot effort. And I can see you think, but you can't shoot it like he's gonna block it. You get, you're, you're throwing this rhythm off by like bringing it, like these slight hezies. You gotta make the shot. It's a confidence. I can shoot the ball like this enough times. I believe it, it's gonna go in. It has nothing to do with well, how you how you shoot. You know how to shoot the ball. You know. Get water. As soon as you get the ball, he's doing this. 
just like that. So it's like, <laughs> this is a high school three. Are you still open. So I'm putting J. Lou. J. Lou's about to go to China, but he's gonna have fans out there. But I watch all his videos. Next, next chapter, all that stuff. Friggin fam, and I'm giving him a away crowd feeling. I because a lot of times people are always cheering for him. When I watched him against Moon, everybody was for him. I want people against him. I want him to be able to find that kill. Um, and the more I see him, I'm gonna put him in these situations to keep making them better. Those are the ones that are that are killing you. They're like you because nobody, you're so fast. And I can't stand for you like that, you. My thing would be the gap you too. Close enough to touch the gap you, though. Know? 
if you're not gonna make me pay, I'm gonna just keep doing what she's right. doing, right? Um, I would highly recommend giving him advice. All right, bet. So first, first shout out, guys. Thanks for pulling up, and just hooping. Don't back up on your shot. Like first thing you gotta stop doing is backing up on your shot. Leaving it. You leaving, that's, it's just all short because you're leaning back. If you're gonna get your space. Straight up, straight down. Then when you get to the cup, no defense. Impose your will more and just be ready to cut off. That's one thing I'm learning. I was even trying to work on it with you, but you were so fast and then you was bailing me out. But the shots I gave you, if you knock those down, you're saying it's a whole different game. So same with me though. It's a space where we gotta learn with the ones, two, it's three, four dribbles. Try to take that first dribble away. And then, yeah, just kind of impose your will if you got two at times. Like for me, I don't really take a lot of jumpers or threes how I usually do. I'm just like trying to get to the rim. You only got the one shot, you know? You better off just getting that. You can get there. So you better off just taking your time. Sure, man. And enjoy China. Yeah, like, I want everybody um, to follow up on J. Lou. He's going to China. Uh, and he's going to do a lot of really cool things. I'm making sure that I can help as much as I can because I really support this guy. I really just love watching him play. And I think a lot of you guys do too. But uh, we want to continue to grow his audience. There's a lot of different platforms you're going to need to start following him on, which we got to talk about. Um, but we're, we're here to build. We're here to help. kayvon has been coming through. A lot of these guys and a lot of people think it's just like some competition. It will be, but right now it's just all about love and building. That's all it's about. That's what this is about. It's relatively these guys are in the same headspace and they need to continue to build their kill. How you feel? What you think? Uh, me personally, bro, I feel yeah, like he said, if I'm not making a shot, it's a whole different ball game. For real, for real. So, again, it was good because, you feel me, like, I noticed what I was doing. It's not like I was missing left or right. It was all short. Real, 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 real. So, I just got to make the adjustment, especially when I go to China playing 1v1 one, one to 100 and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, so, boy. To, to not back up on my shots mm -hmm. and come up and down, straight down. Because so. also, the more you got to go to the basket, the more it's going to burn gas. Right. Yeah. And, we and, like, you, and you want to go. If you do go to the basket, you don't want nobody to be there yeah, yeah, on yeah. a head, you know, something, right. something like that. So. And it's like, we so skilled, we can make shots that we be letting up a lot of easy ones. It's like lock in and like those are the ones we gotta get. And then if not figure out the next one, you know what I'm saying? That's like the main thing for us. I was on the shot with J. Lou because he pulled up, which we won't, you know, we'll, just, we'll leave that in the middle of like a layover. Like that's unheard on the way to China. So like when y'all judge this, like know that it's a lot of things that we go through to, you know what I'm saying, come and hoop that. No, that's not normal. Like that's not normal at all. So appreciate it for sure. All right, for sure, yo. Yep. Yep. Let's uh put the shots in those sack spots, get some water, we're gonna go put up